I am the Divine David, at the very pinnacle, at the very cutting edge of the avant-garde. But it hasn't always been thus. I've had a variety of employment opportunities in the past. Oh yes, quite a checkered career. I started in show business at quite an early age, um, appearing in a few films that some of you may have seen. There was Virile in the Vestry, um, that was set in a church involving choir boys, a virgin and a vicar, it was very tastefully done. Black and blue all over, that was set in a boy's ball stall. And it was quite invigorating, as the other boys set upon um, a, a sort of sensitive poet-type boy, played very sensitively by myself. After that, I ended up in a secure building for a number of years. One day, a talent scout just happened to be passing, and I was singing a selection of songs from Oliver, and he found out who I was, he heard my beautiful voice, and liberated me. And one of the jobs that I did was working on a meats counter, trading in the dead flesh of animals. Other jobs I've done, I've worked on trawlers, I've filleted fish on more than one occasion. I've worked as a guide, taking people up and down the Himalayas. I'm an intensely spiritual person. Other jobs I have done, cleaning out chalets at a holiday camp and also singing. Ah, that lovely. I've cruised all over the world. Um, I've been at sea, shall we say, in many ways. Uh, looking back, <laughs> I've worked as a masseuse and I'm quite um, expert in both the Eastern and Western disciplines. I've taught karate, taekwondo, um, kickboxing, I've done that. Uh, I can teach Tai Chi, uh, normally with a glass of wine in one hand and a cigarette in the other. And I look back over my life and my life now makes sense. I'm here, I've done what I've done, and I've done it for you. Sometimes I have to pinch myself. I look back, and it could be a memory from the film industry, or buttering a particular bun somewhere in Bangkok, or climbing up a Himalaya, and I think, what a rich life you've led. Isn't it wonderful? <laughs>